noise? Seems very weird and big. Could it be an elephant? I'm going in to check it out. Me too. <laughs> Wait up, bro. Nope, uh, it's not an elephant. Oh, that's a big male sloth bear. Males are bigger than females, and his hair is even messier. Those claws are long and curved, just like a sloth's. Uh-oh. Male bears can sometimes kill cubs. Well, let's hide them then. Yes. Shaq, Shaq in. You guys hide in here. Wow. I bet he got his name from those claws. Look at that power. Yeah. He's after termites. Good observation, Mala. What else do you see, bros? Claws break bound? Expose termite tunnels. Prehensile lips cover tunnel. Nostrils close. And he starts sucking up termites like a vacuum cleaner. Interesting, but I need more details. These sloth bear lips are really flexible. They can wrap around the tunnel entrance and create an airtight seal. And the bear closes his nostrils so no air can get in and out of the tunnel. So when the bear sucks in, all the air in the tunnel goes into the bear, sucking the termites with it. Suction! The sloth bear creates suction. Activating x-ray analysis. Oh yeah! The suction is sucking the termites right into the bear's mouth. He's definitely using suction. So he can suck up termites like a vacuum cleaner. And that's why I'm gonna name you Shaggy Vacuum. That's one great creature power. The sloth bear is the only animal we know of that uses the physics of suction to eat termites. Plus, it has bear strength and sloth-like claws. This is going to be a very interesting creature power suit. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those sloth bear power discs. Activate sloth bear powers. And to use those powers. And to be a sloth bear. Guys, it's ready. <gasps> the new and improved Grasshopper Power Disc 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you kidding? You guys call that a jump? Uh. Now show me a real <laughs> jump. Insert disc. Ready, Catapult? Touch Grasshopper and activate Grasshopper Power! Ooh, hoo -hoo. This feels good, Aviva! Let's test it out! Okay, Catapult, here we go! Jump! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Increíble! What an awesome leap! Landing was a little rough. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Whoa! Oh, oh. yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Awesome! <laughs> now that's a jump! Yeah. Whoa! Oh, grasshoppers never really land very gracefully. I mean, gracefully. Hey, Chris, check it out. Our suits have wings. We almost forgot. Most grasshoppers have wings to extend their jumps even farther. Let's try them out, bro. Remember, grasshoppers always take off into the wind. <laughs> I think somebody wants to go with you. Okay, catapult, after you. Deploy wings! Wow, the tiny hairs all over my grasshopper body can sense wind currents and 
help me steer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and these wings can really lengthen a jump. Woohoo! Come on, Martin. <laughs> this way, catapults. Okay, fabrication complete. Programming. Get ready to teleport it, Jimmy. I can't teleport it while I'm driving. And we're being chased by Zagbots, so I can't stop driving. Okay, so I have another plan. I'm gonna take it to them. How are you going to do that? Like this. Attach thrusters. Great idea, Cookie. We'll make sure the Zagbots follow us. Open the sunroof, Jimmy. Initiate thrusters! They didn't see me! Where are the roads? There they are! Coming in for a landing! Oh, wow! Oh, yeah! Oh! Hey, what are all those Zackbots doing up there? What? They're chasing a mini Tortuga! <gasps> and there's something else! Huh? A mini Koki is flying? On a creature power disc? Are you kidding me? Whoa! <laughs> Here, bros! A blue heron power disc! Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Martin. A creature power disc is not easy to fly. <laughs> nice one, Koki. Yeah. yeah! I managed to escape with the disc. We need Blue Heron powers to rescue the Tortuga and get back the miniaturizer. Hey, Chris, you want to activate this one? Nah, you're the blue, brother. Yeah, blue is my favorite color. Well, you better hurry, bro. We got to rescue that Tortuga. Insert Blue Heron disc. Hey, Blue Beaky, can you lend me some uh, Blue Heron power? Yes! Touch Blue Heron, activate Blue Heron power. Wow, I like it but I still gotta test this out. Hold still, Chris. Going to try and grab your shoelace. Ah! Yeah, nailed it. Oh, great. Oof. Ow. Look, the marlin and the sailfish have rounded, narrow swords, more like rapiers, the kind of sword that was used hundreds of years ago. No sharp edges, but pointy and stiff. But the swordfish bill is more like this sword, the broad sword. This one is flattened with sharp edges on each side. See the difference? Round and pointy for the marlin, flat and sharp edged for the swordfish. That's cool! So Chris and Martin are each getting different types of swords. That's right. Yum, fruit salad. Thanks, Aviva. Now let's get these creature power discs ready for testing. Hey guys, now that you've chosen your sorty fish, it's time for a duel. Ready to activate your creature powers? Oh yeah. yeah. When have we ever said we weren't ready? Okay, Marlin powers for Martin. Swordfish powers for Chris. Yeah, insert Marlin disc. Touch Marlin! Activate Blue Marlin power! Activate Swordfish power! <laughs> Amazing streamlined body! Long double-edged sword! Awesome! Rigid dorsal fin, rounded pointy sword, Love it. On guard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, you are a formidable opponent, brother of mine. But the Marlin sword is light and quick. 
Ah, but lest you forget, this longer sword is wielded by a highly trained master swordsfish, me! Uh, Aviva, I thought billfish didn't use their swords for fighting, just for getting food. Yeah, they don't. No. But this is the Crap Brother version of the sport of fencing. Just some creature fun. Okay, guys, let's see some of the moves I taught you. Take that! Touche! But the blue marlin cannot be defeated that easily. Woohoo! Ah, but you forget, ah. I am fighting for the honor of swordfish <laughs> everywhere. This could go on for a while. 